When you think of crepes, you might only think of the sweet side. Well, hold on tight. We want to introduce you to a local business that has worked hard through the pandemic to say we're open and serve tasty fresh food with a twist. Sure, they've got plenty of sweet treats on the menu at Crepes and Juices, but throw your old school idea of crepes out the door. We're not a French concept. We call it a crepe with an American twist. That's the owner, Max Izquierdo. He came up with the idea for Crepes and Juices as a way to have a fresh, healthy meal with less bread. They've been open in Cape Coral since 2014, and savory crepes are one of their specialties. We put, you know, chicken, bacon, we do a buffalo chicken, we do a chicken bacon ranch, a burger crepe. But that's just the beginning. They've got homemade stuffed crepes for days, smoothies, juices they extract on the spot, super fruit bowls. But what really sets them apart is the burst of flavor you're gonna get in most of their dishes. It's a taste Max grew up with. I grew up eating, I, obviously I grew up eating Peruvian, Peruvian food um, and also Cuban food. So what we try to do here is just try to increment different nationalities into, into the crepe. Uh, the crepe itself, we're not a French concept. We call it a crepe with an American twist. Um, so we try to bring different flavors into the crepe uh, so everybody can, everybody can have a little bit of what they used to have. You can taste his family roots in one of my favorite dishes, the house rice bowl. Spinach, cilantro rice, the most amazing seasoned onions, fresh grilled chicken breasts, and the sauce. Seriously, it's like liquid gold if you ask me. Uh, it's a Peruvian sauce. Uh, my background, my, my nationality is Peruvian. Um, it's it's a one kind of sauce. Uh, we, the Peruvians usually use it with potatoes and all that. So we kind of made a made a sauce kind of like that, and then we call it a yellow sauce, a homemade sauce. Uh, it's it, it brings three different cheeses and um, and milk. Max just asked for a little bit of patience. He knows your mouth is probably watering while waiting to take a bite. We, we use all fresh ingredients. We cook everything to order. So it might take a little longer when you ask for your crepe, but it's worth the wait. So we cook the chicken fresh, we cook the steak fresh, we, and, and cut all the veggies daily. And if you stop by and don't know where to begin when you look at the menu, take a note from him. What's your, if you had to pick one thing on the menu, favorite item? putting you on the spot. On the savory ones, there's two things. I eat the uh, the house rice bowl, okay, which it reminds me of the uh, arroz con pollo from, from Peru, which is a, it's a rice cooked in a green cilantro sauce, mm. okay. And the other one is that churrasco, churrasco rice bowl, skirt steak, which is really tender on top of, you know, on a bed of a yellow rice with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and our famous chimichurri sauce. <laughs> Every bite, even the really embarrassing, ungraceful ones like mine right here, is like eating dinner with family. And Max is hoping you'll stop by with yours to try his labor of love. We're all hungry now. All right, and of course, that was our morning anchor, Amy Wegman, reporting. The produce, they say, all local, delivered from Immokalee every week. Crepes and Juices also delivers, if you're wondering, within a five-mile radius of their store on Del Prado, but they do hope to expand that soon. So if you live further out, of course, you can order through Uber Eats and DoorDash as well and have that Pisco Sour at home.